gonna make this easy Here comes a goodbye Cause every time I go I'm scared It's gonna be the last time Take a bath in all the sorrow And enjoy the sight Cause every time I go I'm scared It's gonna be the last time City, what is up? Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Uh, we are very excited to be back home. Thank you guys so much for coming out. My goodness. Um, this is a song called I Choose You. <laughs> I had a billion 
millions of people who got it down to two. I choose you. Darling, it's not loud enough. The math ain't hard to do. Cause I I was good with people's names But I've forgotten everyone's But yours and you're to blame On a desert island Oh, you ask me what I take But you know that decision It's an easy one to make I choose you Out of billions of people You got it down to two Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is a lot. This is cool. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. This, uh, it is hard to, it's hard to speak on uh, how happy I am, but I will try to do it the rest of the night. Um, and in between, I'll play some songs. So we, tru <laughs> we truly appreciate it so much. Um, we are actually uh, live streaming this on Twitch tonight. So I appreciate you guys being as stoked as you are. This is very cool. So um, you guys will be able to hear all my mistakes later on the internet, you know, if you need to. So, um, but um, we really appreciate this. Um, I am, I'm from New Jersey and my, all my family lives in New York. So this is, uh, this is very cool. Um, this, uh, this, uh, this next song um, is a song uh, that I sort of got from, um, I used to play at a lot of bars and restaurants like in, in Hoboken and you know, Jersey City and down the shore. And uh, there was one, one time, I, uh, there was this place called Grimaldi's where I played <laughs> in Hoboken right on Washington Street. And I used to like play in the window, and I would I played there for about seven years. Just like I would, they would just they just let me open up a case and do whatever. So um, one uh, one day this guy came in, um, and he was like fully dressed up in like a full suit, and I was like, look, the pizza's good, but like <laughs> this guy looks like he's auditioning. Like James Bond just walked in, you know. It's like so, um, but he walks in and he gets a table for two. And he sort of sits there and. He's, you know, I'm playing, you know, just like a myriad of Coldplay covers, and um, I, you know, as I'm going through their, you know, selected discography, I see him, you know, sort of go from like, you know, there's a plate across from him, and then there's just one plate, and they sort of give him just a personal pie, and maybe an hour later he walks out, and he, you know, he puts a nice tip in the case and whatnot, and I was like, okay, 20 bucks, it's pretty sick, you know, this guy's, this guy's made money, my God, um, and. Uh, the waitress comes up to me and was like, do you see that guy? He just got stood up on a date. You know, he wrote on the, you know, the bill and everything. And I was like, man, I was like, what a damn shame to waste a good shirt on a bad night. So, like, 
like dudes don't really have that like many nice clothes, you know. So it's like we have to really ration our outfits. So um, you know, so I, I had sort of you know held that in my memory, and uh, I was like, what would it be like to be him? So um, I wrote this song about it. It's called "What a Damn Shame." <laughs> To see what I had Pulled the one suit that I own from the rack If I could tell the future Just put it back What a damn shame Mama always said I should dress to impress So I pressed my slacks I hope for the best If I could tell the future Would have tried less What a damn shame I heard Sinatra Wouldn't be caught dead without a suit more curly in my eyes a little less blue what a damn shame what a damn shame what a damn shame when it don't go right what a damn shame no it's a good shirt on a bad night waiter sat me down at a table for two asked me what i'm having said i'm waiting for you by the look in his eyes i think he already knew today after about an hour, he poured me a drink Said this is on the house I said it's not what you think Bet he could tell my heart was starting to sink It's a damn shame I heard Sinatra Got dead without a suit But I know I'm not him Cause he wouldn't be sitting here Can't stood up by you But a damn shame But a damn shame But a damn shame when it don't go right Shame, no, it's a good shirt on a bad night. So take the roses that I bought for you, put them in some water in the living room. Cause why should they have to suffer too? Such a day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, I love your dad. I really do. I really do. Um, I love everyone's dad. You know, it's, I love my dad too. So it's all good. Um, yeah, we love dads. Big dad energy. Yeah. Um, so uh, um, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I'm gonna say like a version of thank you, like probably after every song, so. Um, I'm sorry, thank you so much for saying that. I'll Venmo you for saying that, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, this, uh, this past, you know, sort of a year or so, it's very strange for everybody, and um, I, I started doing this thing called um, the Lullaby Hotline. And thank you guys. You guys passed the first test, thank you for cheering that. Good, good, good. Very good, very good. Um, but uh, I basically, you know, I would just sort of give out like a song a week, you know, I would text people and whatnot, so sorry for all the text messages, but um, part of it, what just happened? Oh my goodness, okay. We're just gonna keep this going for some reason. Thank you so much. Um, While I do this, sorry. <laughs> this is my teleprompter, no, I'm kidding, it's not a teleprompter. There we go, okay, okay, and we are back. Okay, very cool. Um, nobody will ever know what happens, and even if I explained it, it wouldn't make sense to anybody, so. Totally cool. But um, one of the things that I really like loved about, you know, 
being able to share songs with people was to be able to sort of feel like, you know, there was like a purpose and a schedule and um, it was like just really a great way for me to like sort of have like a little bit of feeling of just normalcy and whatnot. And um, I wrote this next song um, as just basically feeling um, as alive as possible and I was like just trying to like, you know, not manufacture it but really just like sort of like remember like what, you know, life was like, you know, and whatnot. And, um, um, this is so, sort of just a song about feeling alive, and I did it in the most confusing way to sort of, you know, d like write it because um, as like a neurotic Jewish person, I just think that, I, I just think that like I'm always going to die, so like my impending death is like, like, you know, it's like there's poison in this water or like like some, something that's gonna fall out of the sky and kill me, so, you know. Um, and I think when I feel the most alive, it's when I like start forgetting death. And this song I wrote, um, I wrote about that. So, um, you know, whether it's just getting bit by a snake or just, you know, dying of natural causes, you know, I just sort of forget it all. And um, yeah, this is a song about that. It's called Start Forgetting Death. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man. 
Guys, I love you guys so much. This is so crazy to me. I don't really know what to say. Thank you guys so much for being here. Sick. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Wherever it was, yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I was wondering, one of the best parts about um, playing live is... Um, for me, like I, this is actually like my first headline tour ever, so I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, I didn't like when I, when truly, when I was a kid, this is like what I dreamed of doing. So um, it feels really cool to just, you know, I used to play at a lot of bars and restaurants where it was like the back of people's heads. So I like really thank you for facing forward. Feels very nice. Um, and uh, but one of the things about like opening you know for people which is is really great and wonderful is that um every song to the audience is usually new and whatnot and um i'm lucky enough to have you guys here and know the songs and whatnot so i was wondering if i could just play some new songs tonight and just you know feel it out thank you cool you guys passed the second test very good thank you for saying that um, this is a song um that i wrote on accident with charlie puth um one time, I was, uh, I, I have this friend named Sam who always invites me to pretty crazy things in LA, and um, I, I live there now, and you know, whenever he was, he was one of the, you know, my first friends in LA, and he'd always like just try to include me in everything. He'd be like, just come to this, come to this, and whatnot, so it was like very cool. So one night he was like, we should get dinner, and I was like, cool, and he was like, actually, you know, change of plans, like, my friend Charlie's gonna have like a couple people at his house, do you wanna come? I was like, oh, cool, yeah, like Charlie who? And I was like, oh, and he said, oh yeah, Charlie Puth, and I was like, I need to iron my shirt. <laughs> I need to call my dad. <laughs> um, no, but I was, I, it, was very, it was very nice. I went over there. We watched a movie. We had some Chinese food. It was great. It's like very normal. He's from New Jersey, too, so we got along very well. You know, it's very good. East Coast, East Coast people, we stay together, you know, stay together. So uh, basically, it got, to, um, it got to, like, the end of the night, and um, I started playing his, like, just incredible piano. The thing should be, like, in a museum, and I was like, this is you know, this is truly wild, so I should at least play a couple notes, and um, I started playing something, and he came up to the piano, and he's like, oh, is that something? And I was like, it could be. <laughs> I was like, yes, no, sir, no, it's not, no, yes, you can, you can have it, yes. Um, um, and no, it, we, uh, so we started actually, like, writing this song, and we sort of got this chorus of the song done, and I was very stoked about it, it was like, I was like, this is the best day of my life, you know, and I'm gonna be like, a, I'm gonna be a billionaire, this is it. I'm gonna get a boat. This is my this is my moment. You know, this is amazing. You know, so um, you know. So I, I I I drove back home. You know, and I was like, I should be proactive. Like I'm gonna work on it a little bit. You know, so I uh, you know I started working on it, and I you know I would like send it to some people and whatnot. But like it's just like never you know it never w was like ready yet to send. You know, and I was like I was like oh should I send it? You know or not? Or not. So you know I I, t I texted him about it and whatnot and. Um, then finally, I saw him at a party, and like a couple weeks later, and he was like, he's like, oh, hey, Adam, what's going on? I was like, what's up? And he's like, dude, our song. And I was like, yes. I was like, this is, I was like seeing money signs. I was like, here we go. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want this to be on the radio, man, you know? And so, um, so then he was like, yeah, he's like, our song. And I was like, oh, no. And he's like, he's like man, that was like the saddest song I've ever written. <laughs> so I couldn't really even listen to it after we did it. <laughs> and I was like. No, it's cool, man. I can't return the boat, but I just, like, I live here now, so. Um, no, it was totally fine, and I was like, no, no, I get it, I get it. And, like, I, I get it for someone like Charlie, like, that song, like, being sad might be, like, like, my saddest song is, like, I mean, it's, like, way, it's, like, the, it's at the cemetery, you know, where is this, like, you know, so I was like, this is, like, a moderately, like, upbeat song to me, you know, it's like, this kind of feels great, you know. I wonder if you should put it, like, a, you know, four on the floor on this, you know, um club hit and I guess my my meter is off though you know so um so once he said that to me I was like you know what I really I have to like you know I have to really try to make this the saddest song that I could possibly write you know so um I'm gonna play it for you now this is a song called let me know when and it's the saddest song that Charlie Puth ever wrote so here you go <laughs>
fact you lasted this long's pretty good you say you're fine and that's all right i've learned to love the little ways you lie let me know when you fall out of love with me so Tell my heart, accept it when you fall out of love with me. All the promises of calling start to feel like if you wanted to. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to do, uh, do one more new one. Um, I want to actually intro the band first. This is uh, Mono Ruiz on the drums. All the way from Lima, Peru. Um, and uh, this is Matt Olson on the bass. All the way from Garfield, New Jersey. So. Um, this is another new one. Um, this one has the, I, I figured I would do ones that are on polar opposite ends of the spectrum um, in terms of sadness and happiness and whatnot. So um, this is a song that um, I wrote with a friend um, in L.A. Um, I've, I've written with him before a bunch of times. His name's Nick. And um, we wrote a song called I Choose You and Jewel and Joyride together. And so usually I'll, you know, come to him with an idea and be like, hey, you know, I have this idea. And he's like, oh, cool, come over, you know. So one day he was telling me that he had this idea, and I was like, cool, like, come over. Like, it's all good, you know. I was like, very cool. Like, you know, the, tur the, the turns have tabled, you know, so to speak. So it's one of my favorite things to say. Love saying that wrong. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we, uh, so we got together and he was like, yeah, so he's like, I, you know, I have like a s very small idea, but he's like, I just thought it'd be funny if you had a song called Asshole. He's like, I just think it'd be funny if you did it, you know? And I was like, dude, how am I going to pay for the boat, you know? <laughs> just finance this, you know? So, um... I was like, yeah, I don't know if it's going to work. And he's like, it's totally cool. He's like, you don't have to do it, you know? So we, you know, we sort of just chill with it for a little bit, you know? And I was like, you know, it's like my grandma, like, she listens to my music. And, but, you know, she always told me, you know, this actually kind of inspired me to go for it because she always told me, there was one time I told her I was, like, going to curse, like, in a, in a song or whatever. And she was like, it's okay. I was a first grade teacher in New York City. I've heard everything. So I was like, okay, fair. Grandma wins again, you know? Chalk one up for her. So I was like, you know, why don't I just try making asshole? You know, like, why don't I just experiment? 
experiment with asshole, you know? And why don't I just try it out, you know? Give it the good old college try, you know? You know? So I ate dinner, you know, I got comfortable, got relaxed, as relaxed as one could get, you know? And I tried asshole, you know? <laughs> I'm getting real close to the sun here because this is all going on the internet, so. Anyway, I was like, let me go through like the Rolodex of assholes in my brain, you know? of who, you know, like, who have wronged me. And I went through some people, and I was like, oh, you know, like, this person wasn't that nice, but, like, it was also kind of my fault, you know, same sort of things, like, maybe. And I was like, maybe asshole is like a look in the mirror. Maybe I'm like, oh, maybe I'm the asshole, you know. But, but then I found one asshole in my brain, and I was like, this one was bad. This one was tough. So um, I just wrote a song about um, being, you know, sort of in love with somebody who is an asshole to you when they're in love. So... Um, this is a song called Asshole, and now that I've said asshole as many times as I could, I will play you the song and say it even more times. Okay. I gave the green light to all the red flags, tricked myself into believing you're a must-have. But the only thing I must have lost was me Oh, I should have saw when I met your parents That your family is just a bunch of Karens And the apple doesn't fall far from the tree Oh, didn't need you to complete me But how was I to know it? You've never been accused of being easy going Cause you're not friends with any of your exes They all hated you when it ended You can't lie, there's no pretending You know you're an asshole when you're in love Never been accused of being easy Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. um, I, I'm, I'm going to do some songs solo uh, now. To give it up for the band. They won't be long gone. They won't be long gone. This is usually the part where I do the joke where I say, like, oh, they're going to go drink as many beers as possible and come back wasted. But really what we do is just go take a bunch of vitamins. <laughs> you know, Rock and roll is way different in 2021, so... Just trying to be healthy and everything. So thank you guys for being healthy and coming. Really appreciate it. Oh. 
Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, I um, um, this this uh, this next song is a song I actually wrote um, with my friend Nick, who I wrote the last one with. Um, this is also way different vibes, so you know, just, Nick's very multifaceted. Okay, I'm just keeping up. You know, I'm just trying to keep up. But um, there is, um, you know, when I moved to um, LA, I moved without really knowing anyone, and I moved a couple years ago. Um, I guess it was like. 2018. I'm trying. I'm trying my best, you know. Um, and, you know, being out there is is really fun, but just like any new place, it's like, you know, there's times where you really feel like alone. And and so um, my best friend lives here. Um, she's also my sister. Her name is Julie. And and she, um, she you know, for for, <laughs> for uh, you know, what I would do occasionally, I would call her when I was feeling really low and be like, hey, can you just give me, like, any good news? So, you know, she would give me whatever, you know, some news here and there, like, oh, I got, you know, I, I got a new job, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, and uh, there was one time where she was like, well, you know, like, actually, like, this, you know, sort of week or, you know, like, this past, like, couple, you know, days or whatever, I really just, like, could start, like, envisioning myself, like, spending the rest of my life with the person that I'm dating, and she was, she was going out with this guy, this person named John, and they had been going out for about two years and stuff, and she was like, yeah, it's just, like, it was weird, it was, like, something that just, like, sort of really clicked, like, in this past couple months and whatnot, and I feel really just, like, confident in that, and I was like, okay, cool, this is, like, good, like, you know, to have, you know, um, just basically, like, something that is, like, good to, like, you know, choose from instead of just, like, the sad shit, like, I'm all alone, you know, like, as a songwriting topic. So I was, you know, her name's Julie, and I, growing up, growing up, I used to always call her Jewel, so I was like, why don't I try to write a song about this, you know, like, at least, like, someone found love, you know, this is, must be nice, you know, so, um, but, uh, yeah, so I started writing this song, and um, I had a session with my friend Nick the next day, and I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll just, like, save, you know, the rest of it for, you know, when we write it together, you know, and so um, I was like, do you want to do this? And he was like, 100%, come over tomorrow, so um, I, you know, I go to his house, and, uh, you know, it was about, it was like a musician's morning, which is like noon, or like one, you know, it's like, so that was already pretty early, um, but I went there, and he looked like more tired than he had ever looked before, and I was like, dude, what's, what's going on? And he was like, dude, there's the neighbors, like, just got a rooster <laughs> that, like, has to be blind because it has no idea what time to, like, start, like, yelling into, the, into like, its own throat microphone, and just, it has no idea what's going on, and I was like, well, you know, to be fair, like, it is right at least once a day, you know what I mean? If it's doing it all day, you know? And he was like, do not say that to me right now. And I was like, I get it. This is your house. It's your rules. I respect, you know, the house rules. So we started writing, you know, the, this song, and I told him the idea. He's like, great, let's do it. So we started writing it. We wrote the chorus, and we're getting to the second verse, and we're doing this thing where we're sort of just, like, mumbling things back to each other. Nothing's really landing. And then, you know, there's sort of just, like, silence for, like, 40 seconds, which feels like 40 years. And finally, I was just like, Nick... Second verse is going to be about the rooster, isn't it? <laughs> and without even looking up, he just goes, yeah, it has to be. <laughs> so what turned into, you know, a song about my sister's love um, is now also a song about a rooster. And um, the moral of the story is, is um, Julie and John actually got married this past year. And I played it at their wedding. And they're actually in the back. They're in the back. So, um, yeah, it's very cool. Which is fun, because I usually tell this story, and they've heard this story because they lived it, you know, but, like, this is the first time, you know, as a, as a married couple hearing it. So um, this is for them, and uh, this is a song called Jewel. No good at swimming I've got no use for diving even in a scuba suit, I'd still feel like I'm dying. And I don't need to look for buried treasure on an island. I have you, because you're my jewel. So call the search off. I didn't think I'd find you. Look for every message in a bottle and caught lightning. Never have to go too far without feeling the light that comes from you. Cause you're my jewel. Diamonds are forever. Well, 
Just once, like I got it right with you. Cause you're my jewel. Diamonds are forever. Well, I got something better, yes, I do. And all the precious metals are just roses without petals next to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, this uh, this next song is a is actually it's a new song that I just put out. I guess like a month ago, maybe. I'm sort of like lost on what time and what day, and possibly what year it is. Um, thank you. <laughs> so, guys, I now know exactly what date it is. <laughs> Little update to the stories. And now I know exactly what time it is. This is truly incredible. This is just crowdsourcing, you know? It's just the community. It's community, you know? So. Um, this, this next song is about um, the feeling of, uh, I guess it's like love, but it's also a love song, but just sort of in reverse, which is where like love can really, you know, hurt. And I guess no one really knows why it does, but we still do it anyway. And um, this, is a, this is a song about, you know, when you're in sort of a situation sh ship with, you know, and like you're, you're seeing somebody walk away and you're like, I'm not really sure if this is the last time I'm gonna see them or not. And you know, the long distance things are very tough and whatnot, and, but they can, it can be a short distance situationship too, you know, like all these things, you know. Situationships know no bounds, you know, so. Um, um, this is a song about, you know, love flying away and just feeling like that. So um, yeah, this is a song called Love Flew Away. No room to land, and it made no 
mistakes With no legs to stand on It grew its wings right in place We said goodbye one last time As love flew away Looked in my eyes We only blinked when we started both barely dry as we finally realize that we should break the stair and try not to care as love flew away. Maybe I'll find you in some other light. We won't be heartbroken half of the time. The oceans between us won't be so grand. Tired after one more one night stand. But we So we watch love fly Still feels electric, I kiss you, but I can't. We're all out of breath, so we whisper among us for the last time today. As our love wet and flew away. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, this is, um, uh, I really can't explain to you enough how grateful I am that you guys are all here and that we get to do this again. Um, for a while, I wasn't sure, so, um, you know, that any of this would happen ever again. So we... Yeah, Fox and Crow days. I, it's, I've, I feel very lucky to be here and on any stage, really. And um, there's a lot of special people in my life that live in New York and New Jersey and whatnot. And um, I'm going to bring, you know, the band on the stage. But I also, um, you know, wanted to bring uh, one of my heroes um, on the stage. And um, my, my dad is here tonight. <laughs> And he's wearing a very great jacket, so Louis Melcher. So on this on this tour, we've been. Um, this is uh, Mono is also going to play the guitar on this one, and Mono, yeah. Um, Mono has been sharing me uh, sharing some songs with me that are just like super beautiful, like over the pandemic and just while we've been friends. And Mono Mono was one of my first friends in California, so this means the world to me that you know he's here too. And um, 
and a lot of firsts. It was like, you know, like Mana was my first, one of my first friends in California. Matt was one of my first friends in college. And like, uh, my, my dad was one of my first roommates. So <laughs> it's a lot of firsts tonight. So it's really great. Um, and um, this is a... Um, this song, th this song sort of means a lot to me, and um, I wanted to play it with all, um, all of my favorite people. And um, this is a song I usually do by myself. But um, I, when I moved to LA, I sort of, you know, I didn't really know what was going to happen or anything, and I sort of just like took a chance on things, and it led me here. So um, if you guys ever have a gut feeling about something, even if it's like the scariest shit in the world, it's usually the most worthwhile thing. So I would just say go for it, and. If, yeah, thank you, thank you. And if this, if there's anything that, you know, um, you know, really t is worthwhile doing, it's something like that. So um, this is a song called Real Estate. And thank you so much for, uh, for being here, yeah. I still have no hair in your bed, in my clothes, in my mouth, in my nose, oh who knows If you'll still be there when it's all said and done Or if I'll just find less from now on Every time I My dad, everyone. I 
remember growing up, like he would, uh, he would pick me up from my friends' houses and like they would show me some stuff on like the guitar. That's how I sort of got introduced to music is just like in the basements of suburban homes and stuff. And uh, there would be times where he would pick me up and he'd be like, oh, is that the guitar? And like my friends would be like, yeah, it's a guitar. It's pretty sick, you know, like I, I rip. And he's like, oh, can I see it? And they're like, sure, if you know what you're doing, you know. And he would just like rip something and they'd be like, dude, is that your dad? <laughs> Who is that guy? You're gonna get in his car, dude? <laughs> yeah. So, very lucky to have him. Um, thank you again for, for being here, guys. I, I know I keep <laughs> sounding like a broken record, but um, we are truly so happy to do this. Um, this tour has been amazing so far, and um, this is one of the nights that we were looking forward to so much, so it's so good to be back home. And um, yeah, truly, thank you so much. Thank you.
so much. Thank you. Um, I, I, I want to give, uh, we're going to play a couple more songs for you guys, but I want to give a huge, gigantic, uh, whatever, ginormous shout out to Field Medic for opening tonight. He is, um, he's, he's truly one of the funniest people I've ever met, but he's also one of the best songwriters I've ever, ever met, so it's really, truly an honor to share the stage with him. And um, we, love, we love him so much. So, Kev, thank you so much for doing it. Um, really. Um, so, uh, this, is, uh, th this, this next song, um, I, sort of, I sort of wrote about feeling like I was just really far away from the place I wanted to be. You know, and um, just not really being sure of, like, you know, what comes next and, and trying to sort of, like, you know, fake it till I make it, but sometimes the faking it feels, like, you know, the worst, and you're like, why am I doing all this? So this is, um, this is a song about feeling a light year away from everything, um, and it's called Light Year, so, yeah. <laughs> Completely professional. Tuning the guitar, okay. Um, but truly, thank you guys for being here. Um, I actually had some pizza and bagels. I, I hit all the, all, the, all the stops. Me and my roommate Mike actually get our bagels shipped from New York uh, to California. So our freezer, our freezer just looks like a bagel graveyard. It's just like, you know, it's like the, if the bagel FBI ever came, we'd be hoarding, hoarding all of them, so. Yeah, this is a song called Light Year. There are times when it feels right to run away, run away. When you ask the same old question, Every day, every day Why do I set the stage? Why do I find my place On the pedestal? Why am I dancing away From what I'm supposed to say And pretend it's still Best that you don't know It's best that you don't Sweet in the wings Cause I don't want to bring it to light That the fact is I'm losing my mind Oh, I don't go now I feel so alone I'm a light year away From the best days of my life I see feelings Under the Dancing away from what I'm supposed to say and pretend. 
and it's still best that you don't know. It's best that you don't. I'll just wait in the wings because I don't want to bring it to light. That the fact is I'm losing my mind. Oh, I don't go now, I feel so alone. I'm a light year away from the best days of my life. Light year away you. so much thank you thank you thank you my name is Adam Melcher we have one more song for you thank you guys so much for being here truly truly this is so crazy I want to give thank you so much for being here thank you to all my friends and family who came out it means the world to me and for everybody who I don't know yet I also love you so much thank you guys so much for being here from the bottom of my heart um, I want to thank Twitch for streaming this tonight this is feels so so amazing so thank you guys for being here um, this uh, this last song um, is about a car getting stolen from a driveway <laughs> Someone sold the Chevy from the driveway Bet you would've let it go for free Said they wouldn't make it to the highway Let alone to the end of the street the Title still signed under our name The registration's been out of date for weeks If the cops didn't already find that They're probably breaking down as we speak I think we're better off without one day we will laugh about this Might have left the windows cracked Might have left the keys on the dash I'm not even mad about it We know we're gonna live without it Wish we took it for a joy right Before the joy died Going by a motorcycle With a sissy bar to sit you on the back Every mile feels like survival When you're always so afraid you're gonna crash Sure that after just a little while Both decide that we should take it back Pulling on the throttle with white knuckles Oh honey, we're just not cut out for that Maybe let it go
All right, good. You guys passed the final test. Okay, very cool. All From the bottom of my heart, guys, um, thank you so, so much. This is really a dream come true. This is one of my favorite venues in the world. So thank you to Terry and Erica. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Um, truly, I couldn't imagine this going any better. Maybe if money starts raining out from the sky, you know, after. But um, truly, you guys made it just amazing for us. So. Um. Um, I truly love you so much. Um, this is a song called Begin Again. Love you. I broke a tooth on Tuesday night Chewing on a bottle top It's when the penny dropped And I'm not too proud to say I cried Even as the bleeding stopped Hit me all at once Cause I know oh, I did it to myself Let it go to hell And I will go Just nobody else You said all good things must end Tell me they begin again Now every time I crack a smile It's there reminding me Of the missing piece I know there's room to make it right I won't go quiet if you fight for me Cause I know oh, I did it to myself Let it go to hell and I will go oh, Try what I can tell, just nobody else You said all good things must end Tell me they begin again I know there's room to make it right I won't go quietly If you fight for me Cause I know oh, oh. Yeah, I know oh, oh. Yeah, I know oh, yeah, no. I did it to myself let it go to hell, and I will go. Try what I can tell, it's just nobody else. You said all good things must end. Tell me they begin again. We'll see you soon, okay? I love you with my heart. I love you!